I've made my decision. Because <laughs> yes, I'm a super villain, but I can become a superhero after I get defeated, and then I'll have my victories as a hero. There you go. Um, <laughs> it's painful, but at least I'm not getting my head dunked to toilet water. <laughs> Cure cancer. I don't care about making contact with an alien race. They'd be hostile for all I know. This is what matters. This is those people who are all like, aliens, they do exist, and they devote their lives and waste their lives trying to prove it. Covered in feathers, covered in fur. Feathers, because then it could be like a Rito from Blood and Zelda. I mean, sure, fur keeps you warm, but... I don't care. A tablespoon of salt or eat a tablespoon of cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon. Because sure it'll burn, but it'll taste good. No, that's not Pepto Bismo, that is strawberry milk. Okay, a lot of people say salt. Would you rather be able to kill anyone by rendering a note of death note, or be able to heal anyone of any injury, illness, or abundant by a kiss? God, I'm so leaning towards this one. Just because I love Death Note so much and I've like, like, really always wanted one. But then, what would I do it with? Exactly, you know? And I'll become a criminal by killing people with that notebook. And you know how the. If you've never seen Death Note, you know how that ends. So, let's go with this one. Just because you'll have a good reputation behind you. Although, seriously, it's a shame I can't. That picking this one would be a bad decision. A Pinocchio knows what Dumbo ears. So, just have a nose that extends every time you lie, or have bumbo ears, just, just big ears. They'll make you look weird as heck. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Pinocchio nose just because it only happens if you lie, so just don't lie. There you go. No way around death, would you rather be present with them in peace after three weeks? Or have the complete power over the world and get killed after three weeks. There's no way around death. Okay. If there's no way around death, then can I be killed by myself? <laughs> On my own time? I mean, you know, it says after three weeks, so I guess not from anyone. Let's go with uh, this one. You're impeached, not killed on this one. This one says you're killed and there's no way around it, so there you go. Seriously, can you register my clicks, please? Not I don't even know who Trebek is. I'd rather see Jesus for two hours. <laughs> I really should get some music or something playing behind me, shouldn't I? I'll just like look up royalty free music on YouTube. That might help. Travel the world confined to a wheelchair, spend your whole life in the same 200 mile radius.
I'll just live my life the way I've always been living it. <laughs> it sucks, but I'm not gonna get anywhere anytime soon. Oh, would you only be able to laugh violently at racist jokes, or only be able to laugh at interdict Star Trek jokes? I think this one's obvious. What, really? Really? Do you rather laugh at violently racist jokes than laugh at intricate Star Trek jokes? This guy says he imagined the possibilities on dates. Yeah, good point. But I'm pretty sure a woman will hate you if you're racist. Unless they're racist too. Sandlot. Just because it's the only one I've seen, and this is called Nostalgia, and I've never seen The Goonies. Slytherin. God, I want to be Slytherin so badly. Yes, I know it means I'm a backstabbing snake, but I don't give a crap. Slytherin is awesome. And they're green, and they're snakes. All things I love. I don't know who that is. I'd probably do this one. <laughs> and so do a lot of other people. Okay. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. Because guilty pleasures are there for a reason. If you <laughs> never partake in them ever again, it's boring. Would you rather be an amazing security guard or a terrible FBI agent? Gee, I wonder. Obviously, it'd be the amazing security guard because why would you want to be terrible at a job that requires so much focus and intricacy? That is very, very, very important. Like, oh my god, these people. Would you rather be waterboarded to death or be electrocuted to death? What's being waterboarded, might I ask? So what's waterboarding? It's a form of water torture in which water is poured over a cloth covering the face and breathing passages of an immobilized captive, causing them to experience the sensation of drowning. Oh, hard. I think I'd be electrocuted to death. It's just painful, but it's probably a lot faster than drowning. Oof. I eat 20 ice cubes in 9 seconds to everything that I did in the past year. No relation. I'd rather be fat and smell nice all the time, or be fit and smell like sweat all the time. Eh. Is that better? Okay, yeah, I think that's better. If you were about to die in five minutes, I'd rather do everything you want to in those five minutes. That'd be impossible. I'd rather call my family. Yeah, I'm gonna die in five minutes. God, that'd be sad. Sorry, I'm not saying it, but it's kind of late. I don't want to disturb anyone, you know? Would you rather be famous in this life and go down on history books? Legacy, people. Legacy. Why would I want to be famous and then have everyone forget me? Okay, apparently people would rather be famous and then have people forget them. I guess I would rather be okay. Fight in the Civil War, the Revolutionary War. 
the Revolutionary War, because at least that one wasn't between the same people in the same of the same state, you know. <laughs> and because fighting for independence is great, fighting over whether or not to have slaves is stupid. You should just know not to have slaves all the time. Please. If you had your choice of portable game device, would you rather choose a Nintendo DS or a PSP? Honestly, PSP. Because the PlayStation, yeah, because the PlayStation Portable had more third party developers than the Nintendo DS, and more good third party developers than the Nintendo DS. And you basically got every PlayStation 2 game on a handheld device, and who wouldn't want that? Would I be convicted as corrupt politician or be convicted as corrupt fortune 500 CEO? Uh, <laughs> this one, politicians live, should be convicted for being corrupt. I don't know what that is. I'd probably make that decision. Would you rather rip out the exam paper or walk out loud? If you knew you were going to fail a test, would you rather rip up the exam paper or walk out, walk out laughing? Because I wouldn't want to rip out, rip up the exam paper just because that's like completely given up. But I would complete the test and then walk out laughing. This one's difficult. Because, like, there are a lot of cool movie characters I like, but also a lot of cool video game characters that I like. And I don't really know what my favorite is. My favorite tends to vary a lot. Okay, let's see. This is the one I really wanted to get to. The Would You Rather, just because I watched uh, GT Live play this, and, you know, this question popped up, and I was like, you know what? I should see what I do with it. But I wasn't prepared to answer it for some reason. So let's see, my favorite video game character at the moment would probably be... I'd say Sasuke Uchiha because I've been playing Naruto, Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm a lot recently. But, he's also an anime or movie character, so I guess that's getting both. It is not my favorite movie character as much as he is a fun game character to me, so never mind on that. How about Spyro? From the Legend of Spyro series, not the one, not the one from the original series. I mean, sure the one from the original series was cool and all, but he all he did was collect gems. And save the world by breathing fire and ramming people. What to do? The Legend of Spyro did a lot of, got involved in a lot of combat and emotional drama and story and he has a girlfriend, so I'd probably be the Legend of Spyro Spyro. As for my favorite movie character, who'd my favorite movie character be? I'm not sure who would my favorite movie character be. I mean, Rainbow Dash, I guess? I don't know. Does TV count, or does it have to be a movie? Uh. Ooh, Smaug the Dragon. Ooh. Either way, I'll be a dragon. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Would I rather be a guy who can talk? He's pretty cool. He's gigantic. But also gets killed by a single black arrow in like the first five minutes of one of the, in like the first five minutes of his introduction. Or would I rather be a dragon who acts to such tell his tale? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Legend of Spyro Spyro, just because. Either way, I'm a dragon, but this one survives. This one doesn't. He dies limply, very, very limply. Also, not to mention, the one from the Spyro from the older games, the first three, also dies very limpidly. He takes three hits and he's dead. Come on. I mean, at least in, well, four hits, really. Three hits for Sparks to disappear and one hit for him to die. But, 
Legion Sprout, he can take more damage, and he can do things like breathe fire, and water, and ice, and control electricity, all this, and earth all at the same time. So, yeah, that one's a lot cooler to me than the one from the original series. I'm sorry, that's just how I feel about it. I like the Legend of Spyro series better than the original Spyro series. Sue me. Actually, don't. I don't have any money. <laughs> okay, moving on. Well, actually... How about we don't move on? I mean, you know my answer here, but I feel like this is a nice one to end on, too. So, what about your favorite game or movie character? Which would you rather be? Let me know who it is, and write down in the comments below. I'll see what your answers are, and I'll get back to you on them. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.